There are some things in life which transcend space and time, and there are other things which have origins which have been left to the understanding. But then there are certain specific things that are wonderful all the time that have distinct origins and that people all over the world love every day, every minute, every second. And some of those things are specifically heavenly album covers. And we're here at our kind of unofficial one year anniversary. Our anniversary is actually in about six days, but we're gonna do the anniversary today because we also are celebrating not an anniversary, but our episode 1000. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I haven't checked, but we're somewhere in the 1000 range. So today is our one anniversary, one year anniversary and our Heavenly Album covers episode 1000. And here we are. Um, let's get right into it. We're really happy that we've been here for one solid year and we're also really happy that 1000 episodes are under our proverbial belts and our other belts and here we are i was doing cleaning again cleaning out junk cleaning out electronic stuff and clothing and lots of shoes t-shirts and shorts not undershorts but just like walking shorts and i came across this wallen sack i think it's a 15 15 it might be a 1500 the, they had um, similar, very similar models that were upgraded at some point to stereo, which I don't think is actually stereo. I've never tried it. You can hook a, this is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder uh, manufactured and made in the late 1950s and used in schoolroom settings all the way through the early 80s, I think, maybe in as far as today. I don't know. There are probably still some wall and sack tape recorders in use. This thing weighs about 30 pounds. And I was saying that um, these things can be modified by adding a, a external speaker. And I don't think it's real stereo. I'm gonna try not to break anything or break myself, but I can lift it back here and open it carefully. It does weigh about um, 30 pounds. I've lugged these back from um, places where I've bought these things and uh, they just weigh a ton. They're hard to carry. I've owned about two working wall and sacks and one wall and sack that I learned from. I learned how to open it. Here we go. I think this works. There we go. And this thing is and was built to withstand um, children and teenagers and junior high school students. Um, these tape recorders could be dropped and they could be dropped from airplanes and still survive. Um, the parts on this thing are indestructible. They're, they're more put together than the space, space shuttle or the Empire State Building. And uh, every single inch of this thing is just built to withstand earthquakes, tornadoes, and hurricanes, and um, it's just massive, and it takes quite an effort to get inside this thing and work on it. It's got all sorts of protective devices around the tubes and the belts. This thing takes um, these really thick, weird uh, rubber belts. They're not even rubber. They're like cloth rubber, and they've got a massive tape counter. I can't even pick it up. These... Um, buttons are really impressive. This thing records and plays. Um, these were made at a time when reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders were the big thing, and you could put one of these in a classroom, and uh, it would be good for 10 or 20 years. Um, as I said, you can, you can drop things on this and drop this off of high places, and it'll still survive. It's got um, really great design qualities. This thing is a, pops off. I think the speaker's up here somewhere, maybe over here. It's got a uh, incredible fan on it. It's just, you could uh, slice bread with it. And this was made by the 
Revere Camera Company um, and Armor Research Foundation, which was probably a educational electronics company. And so um, let's move this along and I hope I won't drop it on anything. Then we can't um, let this go without looking at the microphone. Now, check this out. It's just, um, this is bulletproof or student proof. And um, these all came with a, well, it slides out this way, a standard uh, microphone that was only good on these recorders. The, the plug for this thing is slightly different than a, a normal, I guess this is a, what is this? Half inch, quarter inch, third inch. This thing won't work in another tape recorder. It goes in this wall and sack. So um, this is a nice design. You'll find these all over the place. They often get separated from the machine. And this thing is a good thing to carry around if you're uh, afraid of getting hurt out in the world. And look at that wall and sack. Um, logo there it's um not embossed but it's like uh welded there so that's the wall and sack 1500 or 1515 it came out from under a bunch of shoes and uh it also came with this um attractive cover and uh got the cord the cord is just um incredible these are hard to match up to these power cord tips those are also um unique to this machine and the manual beautiful manual you don't see manuals uh designed with brown white and black and uh maybe we can see a better picture of the wall and sack here because i can't really show it too well in person there it is the Wallen set, and uh, that's it. It's just a monster. It's uh, I haven't fired it up in a while. And Wallen Sack was out of Chicago, Illinois, USA. And so let's get on. Actually, I have one other thing I found. I'll move these big-handed trolls out of the way and the heavenly eight ball. I found this. I always stick things inside old books. I don't know why. It's, they're, books are good places to hide things and place things. This is from 1974, August 21st, 1974. It's from a newspaper called The Star, and maybe we'll figure out um, what city The Star was published in. Um, but it's real fun, real interesting to look at old newspapers. They're really a... <clears throat> A magnifying glass into the past and you can buy a gym suit here some shoes some glasses um, capitalism goes way back even back to 1974 so people love to buy things and do things and pay for things and here's Charlotte Peters she has a weight loss clinic in uh, still not sure where this newspaper is from uh, this is uh, the Daniels Institute of Dance Technique, and there they are. I better move the light back a little bit, so this is more fun. And they are the best in dance education, Diane and Dennis Daniels. And this is Kathleen Daniels Whip Fleur, and you can buy some tank suits here and some football shoes. And let's flip this over. I like the second side a lot because it's just one gigantic supermarket ad. You can compare prices from 1974 to 2024, and it's cookout season. It doesn't, I'm not sure what store this is. It's called the Del Monte store in Shackleford. These are all cities I don't know, and you can buy some... Uh, Gino's Pizza Rolls, Eggplant, Ajax Cleanser, Dixie Cups, some Sweet Peas, and um, it'd be easier if I fold this. And it's cookout season. You got Chuck Roast for 69 cents a pound. There's a nice um, turkey breast and a 
cartoon woman with her shopping cart. She's running away from a little bird. And we have barbecue stick, more chuck roast. Fun Franks. The Franks were very fun. And sliced bacon, all this stuff. So that's something I found in a book. And so this brings us to Orion. And let me move the cute little big-handed trolls out of here. And Orion has a little post-it note that says, Heavenly Album Covers, Episode 1000. And that's what we have right now. And this is Orion. He's right there. Um, I picked this up a long time ago, and I haven't opened it. It kind of got lost, this record. It's from um, 1979 or 78. And I've got a bunch of notes here. So I'm gonna rearrange things slightly so I can read my notes. I think uh, Orion, I can't get my notes up. We'll have to cut this. 